guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a new weekly vlog i've just got back from the gym i'm actually starting this vlog at a very weird time it's 10 past seven just got back from the gym just had a bowl full of lasagna you girls really live in um and i was just about to jump in the shower and i thought to myself actually i'm going to show you what's in my gym bag because i think it's quite useful i love watching like what's in my bag style videos and i feel like i've got my gym bag down to a t like i've got everything you could possibly need in my opinion um so i thought i'd do a little what's in my gym bag as you all know i'm on a bit of a new little fitness journey um really trying to prioritize my health and fitness and just looking after myself so let's do a little what's in my bag so my gym bag is my louis vuitton hold all um call me bougie I like it. I've got a little Kobe Lou joining us today. He likes whatever's in there. First thing in my gym bag is my swimming costume. Just this little Calvin Klein one. Um, this is what I put on if I want to go swimming, go for a sauna, steam room, jacuzzi, you name it. Tonight, me and Alex um, did legs, bums and tums and then we went and sat in the jacuzzi and had a little catch up and it was lovely. Um, not really a catch up because we see each other literally every day, but you know what I mean. Um, so this is my swimming costume ready to be chucked in the wash. We That's just from JD, by the way, I think. I got it like a year ago. I'll try and link it down below if it's still online. I don't know if it is, though. Um, we then have got a Tangle Teaser. Essential item, in my opinion. Um, we've got some dry shampoo. If I come out of the gym, want to freshen up but don't want to wash my hair, you could just use that. Um, we've got some body lotion, Nivea. This is one of my favourite moisturisers. I love all the Nivea moisturisers. They're just very moisturising. Are you tired, my little boy? We've then got some spare socks in case you ever forget your socks. You never know. We've then got some cotton wool pads. Take your makeup off, micellar water. You never know when you're going to need them. We have then got a hair clip. Again, if you come out of the gym, I want to just clip my hair up. You never know what you're going to need. Um, we have then got these two bags. I've actually ordered as well off Amazon a bigger one so that all them bigger items can go in a bigger bag as well. So I've got these two bags. This one we will start with. This is just from Primark. Um, and it's got three... Uh, what they called like little travel bottles so this one's got cleanser in shampoo and no sorry body wash shampoo and cleanser um so this is what i'll take like, into the shower with me when i get a shower at the gym um just easy to have and you just top them up when you need to um rather than having like big bottles every time also got a razor in there self-explanatory you never know when you might just forget to shave and need to go in the pool and you don't want any stragglers you never know right girls so I thought that would be a good thing just to have in there in case of emergencies. And then this one is more like my getting ready product. So we've got, that Colby's just sat there watching me. We've got this um, exotic body mist from Superdrug. And these are the ones that smell like designer perfumes. Really good dupes. I just like spraying this on myself like when I come out of the gym just to freshen up a little bit. We've got a Bondi Sands SPF 50 lip balm. I love these lip balms. I've got pretty much all the different scents. They're really good. A mini micellar water, if I forget to take my makeup off, or like I say, just to freshen up your face. Hair burst, um, lash and brow enhancer. I've got my, oh, why is that not? There we go. I've got my rapid lash and brow that I keep in the bathroom. I just thought this, like, if I have a shower at the gym, just to brush through my brows got some SPF 50. I use this as moisturiser sometimes because it's really hydrating. Um, we've got a, the Inky List Caffeine Eye Cream. I've got this Glam, Glam Glow, Glow Moisturiser thing. I got this in a little like sample tester pack so I just thought it was handy for your gym bag. I've got loads of little mini moisturisers so I'm just going to work my way through trying them for my gym bag. Um, got this Moroccan Oil Hydrating Hair Mask. If I ever want to get out the shower, put a hair mask in before I leave. You always got to think of these things. Got a little really natural lip liner. This one's from NYX. Um, it's pretty much the same colour as my lips. So I just like it sometimes if you want like a natural like lip liner with your lip balm. And then just some hand wipes in there. So that is um, 
everything that I'd need to get ready to be honest when I come out of the gym and I found all of them very handy items and then we've got loads of hair bubbles down there and my padlock for my locker so yeah that is my gym bag oh one minute Jordan's ringing me hi yeah you so yeah that is what is in my gym bag I'm gonna go jump in the shower pack my bag for shooting tomorrow because me and Alex have got a big shoot day and yeah that's about it outfits are all ready to get packed away for tomorrow we're shooting five <gasps> have you got your ball look how flat to the floor he is um five outfits tomorrow I'm getting a big one in before the weekend so yeah pack this all away and i'm gonna settle down for the night guys how cute is this when alex picked me up to go to the gym i mean yes the gym um she was sat in the car with these cupcakes with these how cute is that because i hit 200k on instagram i gave her and andy um one to take home and have for their dessert tonight i'm gonna have one of these make myself a cup of tea and get cozy in bed and don't really have anything to watch to be honest probably just watch some youtube good morning guys it is shoot day i am already in my first outfit i've got on this little um play suit from missy empire it's like a ribbed knit fabric really nice um i've got it in a size medium i think because I didn't know if it was going to be like non-stretchy fabric and it is too big but I've just tied it in a little knot here um, and I do this with a lot of my clothes because they can often be big and I think it looks quite cute it pulls it like in your bum a little bit gives more of like that cinched vibe and I'm the type of person that would only ever wear this with like a jacket over the top or in the house or with a shirt so it doesn't really matter because you can't even see blazer is also Missy Empire got my Balenciagas on, some socks gonna pop well, that's my swimming costume cap on and a little bag alex is outside um so i am gonna get on my way and i will speak to you when i'm in the car i am with alex she's driving so she's concentrating Hello. um pulling up to our local stops as always i've just said to alex i know i showed the powder that i got yesterday um actually was it in last week's vlog so this was in last week's vlog if you've watched last week's vlog you'll know it's a really cheap one it's literally just a nyx um is it the born um the ready steady what's it called i oh don't know it's like banana color i know what you mean it's like um, a dupe for the um radial banana powder almost is it? yeah uh, oh, no well. the ben nye banana powder well it's a dupe for that it's really very good. good um let us order starbucks then i'll come back and explain look at my face on this camera wow yeah i know Ooh, my hair looks a bit shite look at your skin Ooh. it's it's a dream it's an absolute dream um let us order starbucks then i will explain what are you getting i shy to you last time uh, you're addicted to them now aren't i you? actually am now that's all i want They're from starbucks morning. Can can I get Hi, can I get an iced chai tea latte, please? A chai tea latte, yeah, is that a large one? Uh, yes, please. Anything else? Uh, what size? Uh, medium. And can, can I order? Uh, sorry, no. Can I also get a medium-sized peppermint tea? Uh, what kind of tea, sorry? Uh, peppermint tea. Sorry? Is it a large for you as well? No, 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 just a medium, please. Medium, yeah, any milk? Milk. No, thank you. Is that all your order today? That's it, thank you. Alright, so six, seven, eight, five, and then you go then. Thank you. Thank you. Why is it always so stressful over the Starbucks? It gives me anxiety. Isn't it funny? Could you hear her? No, I couldn't. I was like, eh. She didn't have her mic put in properly. Sorry, if you shut it, please. Um, yeah, so I got this new powder, and I'm like not a powder girl. Alex creases at that because I just don't really ever. Um, oh, Dion, it's like Dion's discovered fire this morning when she's come out and been like, oh my god, like, powder. And I'm like, I was like I've yes. got powder. She was like, yeah, welcome to the makeup world. I was like, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Basically, I've got powder under my eyes over my concealer. Usually I never do that, right? I and can't it just. I believe you never set your concealer to Well, I don't that, usually that, wear that, a lot. That gives do me I? like the fear. Yeah, well, I just put a tiny bit if I'm looking a bit tired and that's it. But today I did like more full coverage and I feel like my under eyes look so much better they and do, smoother. They look flawless. Um, 
so really happy maybe I'll do an updated makeup tutorial since I'm now an MUA who knows but yeah shoot day we've got five outfits today it's gonna be a productive oh, one the weather is looking a bit grey but we're gonna try and be positive and work with the best aren't we we are we can we've we've worked with worse we definitely have worked, we've worked with, worse. with worse we've so, worked with each other on our periods that is worse that is definitely so. worse than bad weather it's actually quite scary um but yeah I will try and pick you up throughout the day usually I'm not the best at vlogging on shoot days because we're usually just talking and I think you'll remember though today because I've not got my camera with me so I'll remind you to get yours out that's the plan I will see you soon all right and just like that I am back home still in the same outfit because it was a fail guys like the thing is with shooting content I get asked this a lot what is like any tips or advice for shooting content and stuff how do you and Alex do it lighting is everything like if the lighting's bad you're gonna hear every photo like if the lighting's good me and Alex can shoot pretty much anywhere like anywhere we can just get a picture and we're happy with it um but when the lighting's bad it's just looks so dull and it's not worth bashing out five photos on like a big shoot day that we had planned if we're gonna hate them all so we did one the one that I'm wearing quickly um got that and then we've just said right let's go tomorrow because we looked at the weather forecast it says um like sunny all day tomorrow so we might as well just wait i've got a lot of filming to do in the house anyway so we've just basically switched our days around came home today it's, it's only 10 o'clock so i'm just gonna come back well back now obviously um i'm gonna film a haul for you guys i've got some stories i need to film um and then we go again tomorrow so i'll bring you on shoot day tomorrow um and you'll see that and that'll be a nice little round off to the end of the week ready for bank holiday weekend because once I finish shooting tomorrow, which is Thursday, I will be um, free for the weekend, which is brilliant. So yeah, plan of action now is to enjoy. Although I asked for a peppermint tea and they've gave me mint citrus. That's not peppermint tea, it just tastes like green tea, but whatever. Gonna drink this, go and set up for filming and still have a productive day even though the weather is so dark and miserable and all I want to do is light a pumpkin spice candle and hug Colby on the couch. Right guys it's 12.30 I have not stopped. Excuse the tripod on a chair obviously Colby is exhausted too. Um, I have not stopped since I spoke to you last. Um, I have filmed a YouTube video. Let me squeeze through this door. I've filmed a YouTube video. I've shot two photos. I've done stories. I've been a woman on a mission. And I've just realised that I haven't even ate anything yet. And now I'm starving. So do I want crumpets or do I want avocado on toast? I think I want avocado on toast. My classic feta balsamic vibe. Can you freeze crumpets? Because I'm not going to eat these in the next few days. I doubt Jordan is. It's just like a waste, isn't it? Hmm. Let me make my avocado toast. Then I'll show you. And there is my classic avocado toast. Feta, balsamic glaze. Half a squeeze of lemon is essential. It makes it taste so fresh. Salt and pepper. Yum. Good morning. It is the next day. We're finally... We're finally actually shooting. It's actually been a bit of a not stressful morning but I mean it's it, we, we take a, a while to get going this morning yeah though. Alex picked me up we got to the location where we were shooting and then um I had a delivery at home of something that I really need to shoot over the weekend so Alex was like look should we just go back and get it and I was like if you don't mind yeah so we've just drove back to mine picked up the stuff we're now starving so we need, now need to detour and, to get toasty and now we need to go and get toasty so it's now been an hour and we've done <laughs> nothing <laughs> so that's great it's going well it's still quite cloudy a day but it's definitely brighter um but let's all just pray for a su successful shoot day pray for a suck suck, suck. what's happening on the shoot day? oh my god it's just a lot it's a lot okay but hopefully it will be worth it in the end got the toasties alex went for bean and cheese what a vibe why are you saying it like <laughs> no it's like exciting a, i'm very excited for you gourmet cappuccino <laughs> And yeah, now we're pulling up to eat it because, you know, we're in no rush. We've got all day. We want to waste more time. We're just wasting time. Have I vlogged everything and we're on the fourth outfit? No, we have not vlogged a thing. Great. Um, we have just shot the fourth. Wait, how many have we done? Three. I've done three. We're on to our fourth and we've got five to do. We've actually been very quick. We said we were going to get changed here, I just thought. Yeah, we're going to get changed. Let me get changed and then I'll 
update you on what's been going on. Okay, hello, I am changed. Got this Princess Polly uh, blazer on, Princess Polly, my new fave jeans, and my Jordans. Alex is naked, getting changed I right am. now. <laughs> she you is. You will see a breast. There is a boob out in a second. <laughs> um, but yeah, we are on our fourth outfit. I haven't vlogged at all because we've actually been pretty fast. We might take a while to get going, but once we actually do get going, we are quite quick. So it's all good, but we're both knackered. We've both just hit a wall where we're like... Why are you actually so exhausted right now? Like, not being funny, it's hardly manual labour. <laughs> what is wrong with us? We both just did, like, the biggest yawn ever. And we're just Anyone like... Would think we've just had a fucking day up there with the scaffies, laying <sighs> bricks all day. We if haven't. only, eh? We've been taking some... <laughs> I know. I literally <laughs> said to Alex, if we put bum warmers on in this car and I reclined this seat, I would sleep here. So that's great. Plan of action is bash through these last two photos, then go to the gym, but not actually work out at the gym. We're gonna just go and sit and have a cup of tea, edit, live the wife, the housewife, mm -hmm. milf life that we long to live. Gonna go to our coffee shop that just happens to be a gym. Go to our um <laughs> our leisure centre, and. Uh, Relax for the afternoon, so that is where we're at. We need to rally, um, but there have been a lot interesting to vlog, so that's why I haven't picked up the camera. Hi guys, if my makeup is a mess, it is because I napped on the couch, and I'm now just feeling like I live on a different planet. I've just got changed. I've got on these really old Topshop jogger legging things, but they're just so comfortable. Um, a Topshop racer top, and my new Angel Collection hoodie, which, can I just say, is the perfect oversized throw-on hoodie. Like, I'm obsessed. Got my gym bag. Excuse the absolute mess behind me where I've clearly just dumped all my clothes. Um, we got back from shooting. I had a lot of editing to do to get stuff sent off for approval um, before we move into the weekend. And now I'm waiting for Alex to pick me up. We're going to go to the gym. We're going to go for a swim jacuzzi do a bit of editing there for a bit of change of scenery i've got a lot of like boring admin stuff that i really can't bother to do but i need to do so yeah that's me for the rest of the day i will speak to you all probably tomorrow where i'm gonna have a bit of a self-care more chill day hello guys apologies about the absolute state of me it's actually a few days later now um it was a bank holiday weekend i didn't vlog but now i'm back vlogging again um, honestly, I don't know about anyone else, but when I, like, go away for a bank holiday weekend or anything, it just takes it out of me and I'm, like, knackered the whole time. We're now, like, Wednesday and I'm still knackered. I'm actually feeling, oh, I feel just a bit, oh, I think it's just getting back into a routine. Oh, my God, you haven't even seen Corby's new hair. Oh, my God, everyone. Oh, I felt like such a bad dog mom. So, his fur was so badly matted. Obviously, we took him to the Lake District. It had, like, legit twigs and stuff in it. It was all knotty and it couldn't, like, be brushed out. So, we took him to the groomers and she had to literally shave him. And I'm not joking, he looks like a different dog. His tail is, like, a rat's tail. We've been calling him Skeletor. Do you want to see him? Don't laugh at him and don't make him feel embarrassed because he's already really embarrassed and he's, like, waiting for his hair to grow back. He's like, Mum, please put castor oil and grow gorgeous hair masks on me so I can have long hair. He's really upset and I've just bought him a new jumper because he, I can tell that he's cold. Like, he's wanting to sleep next to me all the time, whereas usually he's, like, wants his own space. But he is trying to bite off his jumper. <laughs> Corby, have you had your hair cut? And you're looking all short. Oh, you're so cute in your new jumper. He's really not happy. He's not happy about it at all. He was actually fuming at me, to be honest. Um, and he's now trying to pull his jumper off. No, that's to keep you warm because you're just a little boy who gets cold. Um, so, yeah, that's what's been going on. I am about to go and make my... It's the 1st of September day, guys, by the way. Happy September. Um... In a bit of a routine now we're going on holiday in october which i don't think i've told you yet um so usually this time i'd be like eat what you want do what you want summer's over but because i'm actually going away in october i want to feel good for going away so first september i'm going to try and be super strict well not strict but keep the health going keep going to the gym etc etc um i'm about to go and make my uh don't bite my jumper because you don't like yours. 
goodness me, that will go and make a tuna salad. Um, one of my favourites, to be honest. I make it all the time, so I'm going to show you how I make that. Um, I've had a Zara delivery, so I'll show you that tomorrow when I've got makeup on and I look a bit more presentable. It's just literally so dark and grey and gloomy outside. It's not nice. I'm going to make a salad. Got a bit of work to do. I'm going to sit and do that. Try and get this little angry boy to like his jumper. And do you want a treaty? Should we go and get you a treaty? Come on then. Right then. Do you want one of your favourite baker's worms? Because you love these, don't you, darling? Right. Sit. Good boy. Up, up. Good boy. There you go. And then he'll run into the living room. <laughs> Guys, I can't cope with him. I've literally got on this cardigan from House of CB, which I've had for like three years now. It is my go-to comfy cardigan for in the house. But as you can see, it has really like pulled. I think I've said this before. So it's not like the best quality, if I'm totally honest, for the price of it. I have had it quite a few years, but I don't know. Um, and then I've just got this Primark little comfy bra and some gym leggings because I did go out for a walk. I went to the shops, but now I'm in my comfies. So let me show you what you need to make the best oh, tuna salad in the world so i like to mix a bit of romaine lettuce or like iceberg lettuce with some rocket because i like them both um and then we've got some tomatoes red onion avocado tuna in spring water feta squeeze of lemon salt balsamic glaze you all know this is my favorite it's from amazon and I've been through so many bottles. I put it on everything. It's so good. Then I also just picked up this um, dressing from Aldi when I went this morning. I just thought, just for a bit more flavour, you know, put this on. Um, so yeah, let me start preparing stuff and then we'll chuck it all together. So now that everything is cut up and ready to go, I'm going to start building this salad. So we'll do the romaine lettuce first, then put in a little bit of rocket. There we go, about that much for the base. Then add the red onion tomatoes. When I put the red onion in, I just kind of like break it up and separate it with my hands. Pop the avocado on the top. And then we'll add the tin of tuna. I've drained all of the water out of there already. What I love about this salad is it's so big and filling, but like, Good for you at the same time, do you know what I'm saying, everybody? At this point, I get my scales out so that I can weigh out like feta and stuff. Let's turn them on. We will chop a piece and then just with my hands, I just like to crumble it on the top. So that is 17 grams. And I do use my fitness pal when I'm like tracking stuff and trying to be healthy. So I'll just scan in the feta and put 17 grams. I don't scan in lettuce and stuff because, I mean, let's be real, it's literally like zero calories, so what's the point? Um, but I'll put that in, 17 grams. Then get half a lemon and squeeze that in. This, I feel like, just makes it so fresh, like a very important step of the salad. Salt. And then let's try this new vinaigrette, which I've never tried. Then I'll give it a mix up. I 
I actually need a bigger salad bowl for this because it's like overflowing. Honestly, make this. Tell me you're not full afterwards because it's unbelievable. Balsamic glaze, which I like a lot of. And there we have it, everyone. That is my healthy tuna delicious salad. I'm going to go sit and do some work and dig in. Good morning, guys. How are we all? Oh, my bag is stuck on my hair. Ah! Help me! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let me sort this out. All right, there we go. That's the thing with Givenchy's, right? If anyone else has one, let me know if yours just the same. The crossbody strap always comes off for me because it like just like slots in. It's really quite irritating. Um, so it is Thursday. It's 10 a.m. I'm going to pick Alex up. We are having a shoot day today, although again the weather is horrendous. It is just so dark and grey. Autumn is well and truly hit us hard. I've got a tracksuit on. You all know the score. Um, so we are going to go have a Starbucks um, and just evaluate the situation because, like I said in last week's vlog, you just... Actually, was it this week's vlog? Maybe it's this week. I don't know. But you just can't force it. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to have a pop in home sense. Get myself some autumn candles. Um, and, yeah, just make the best of this awful weather. So I'm going to head to pick Alex up now and I will speak to you in a bit. Hello there. Alex has got this sunset drink. Do a taste test. Let's see. Oh, it's kind of like a straw in there. No. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I think it needs a little bit of a mix. Give it a stir. I just got a green tea. I've honestly gone off coffee at the minute, you know. I have as well. I just don't fancy it at all. Like, especially like um, sweet, like. Yeah. It's nearly hot chocolate season there. I know. It? Right, I saw this on TikTok. I don't know what it's going to actually taste like. Oh, that's really Is it nice? nice. Mm, try Ooh. some. Mm. Nice, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, that is nice. Um, so we have came to Starbucks. I'm gonna sit here for a bit, chill, and then to be honest, it's so dark and gloomy out there. Shooting home is not sense. gonna be a home sense <laughs> pumpkin spice candle vibe. The pumpkin spice is also back, but. Like I said, didn't fancy it, so just got myself a little green tea. <laughs> Not that we already don't look weird. We now both have cameras <laughs> outside of sense. We have arrived at the mothership. Let's go and, <laughs> and spend unnecessary money on candles. Yay! We are in candle heaven. Honestly, can't cough because I just want to buy them all. I want to buy them all. For God's sake. Came in here for one candle and here she is with the trolley ready to get her peck sniffs. <laughs> Still here at the candle section and we now both have the bark candles and both have two big candles as well. Honestly, the thing is, we don't really like the whole autumn decor of like pumpkins and stuff. So I don't for do, us, we don't do orange, we don't do red. No, so for us, like candles are really the only way that we can decorate for autumn. Do you know what I mean? So I'm happy with that. <gasps> Here we are. Honestly, hey. it couldn't be helped, right? It just could not be helped. Oh God! Here we oh, are. Second floor. Well. You know it's been a success when you've got to actually bring the trolley to the car. Alex has two bags full. All mine are in there. Oh, the It has been truly a success. I will give you a haul when I get home. So we have switched drivers. Alex is now designated driver for us. And we are home from home since it was very successful. I will give you a haul when I get back. We've just popped out to quickly get our nails done. Mine are quite outgrown. I'm gonna get the acrylics off and go back to the gel life, but probably stick to French because I'm boring. What are you going for? I think I'm gonna go. I'm going for a similar to you. I'm gonna go for the French manicure vibe, but I yeah. think instead of like the white tips, I think I'm gonna go for like a dark blue. Yeah, I like that idea. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit more like autumnal colours. Yeah, now. that'll be nice. That's what I was saying. Like I was gonna go for a block colour, but all the bright colours I feel 
I don't. We're in September now, you know. I thought you'd light them for a day. Yeah. And then when you start buying your order, you put your own candles out and stuff. I know. You're not going to want I like, don't want blue. No. no. I need. But last year, we were just talking, I got brown toes and brown fingers, and oh, they were. That was such a vibe. They honestly. were so nice. It was like a warm chocolate brown on my toes. They it were was. amazing. Also, I remember that set where I got different coloured tips, and they were all different shades of brown and caramels. Yes, they were oh, a fun that time. Nice. That I think that was good. my Christmas nails, maybe. Oh, I think my, maybe next time. Yeah. In like three weeks, you'll be doing yeah. some chocolate tops. I agree. For London. Oh, a chocolate London. tour for London. Wow, well, we were talking. We might get our nails done in London. Yeah, we, we might go to actually. That nailed it bar, don't we? Yeah. So maybe we save that for the London nails. Yeah, that could be a good shout. So yeah, next stop on our agenda of today is nail appointment. Hello, guys. Excuse. Yeah. I don't know what's going on there. I am back from getting my nails done. Let me show you them. Just, you know, what's new? I did for like 0.5 seconds of my life say to Alex, oh my God, should I get pink? And then the guy came over to do them and I was like, mm, French. I just, look, I'm a boring bitch when it comes to nails. That is just what I like. Um, Just made myself the exact same tuna salad that I had yesterday because I'm a creature of habit, as you can see. Um, let me give you a little home sense haul. Is that an okay angle? Yeah, excuse. That is all the stuff for my lunch. I haven't cleaned up yet because, um, can I be bothered? No. Okay, so did I go a bit crazy with candles? Yes. First thing I got is this Weathered Spice Sand and Fog candle. This I got for Jordan's office. If you've seen Jordan's office in this vlog, it's basically got a wall that's like a really dark blue colour. And this morning he was complaining that he wanted a candle, so he stole mine from my office and um, thought I'd buy him one. It smells like sexy boy. You all know how I feel about a sexy boy smell. It just smells lovely, like really masculine. So I thought he'd like that. What's Colby doing? Please don't chew my shoe. No. No, thank you. No. Put that down. He's got my slider in his mouth. No. Um. Then I got another candle that one was 7.99 then i got this big one it's actually really heavy um it is vanilla pumpkin i just thought the packaging on that was lovely this one was 12.99 oh oh my god the way jordan described this is that it smells like america at christmas also on my last vlog i said at some point in the vlog i can't remember when this reminds me of when we lived in America and I've had loads of questions since saying like you've lived in America what the hell blah 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 um long story short Jordan lived in America for seven years I've got that wrong you won't be happy seven years um we we actually met when he lived there um and did a long distance relationship for two years I used to go and visit him he would come visit me I then went out there and lived with him for six months when I was on like summer from uni um but yeah, if you want me to do a little Q&A about it, let me know. It was a great time. Um, so yeah, this reminds me of America because everything's very exaggerated there. It just smells like literally unbelievable pumpkin autumn vibes, but thought it would also go in my house. Like, I don't really like autumn decor in terms of like pumpkins in the house. That's just, what? Give me a minute. Come and sit and do the haul for Mama. Come on, up, up. I'm in your autumn jumper. Aren't you? Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I don't really like pumpkins and like proper autumn decoration. So my way of decorating my house is with candles. Um, so that was the first one. Uh, excuse me. Do you like autumn? Do you like pumpkins? You're a little pumpkin. Um, then I got this other candle. What? This is so chaotic. I'm so sorry. This one is white pumpkin. Um, this actually has a little dent in it, but I always take the lid off and leave the lids off anyway. <sighs> Please go at home, sense and smell candles because it's just amazing. Again, twelve ninety nine. Beautiful. So one of these is going to go in the hallway. One of them is going to go in the living room. We will see. Then I've got this little set of three, which is actually beautiful. Me and Alex both got these. 
because we were like, wow, they are stunning. And they match my kitchen table perfectly. I'll show you them. Um, and I'm imagining like doing a little cute display is the vibe I'm thinking. So we've got these two and it's like a pillar candle, but with like bark around it. Just beautiful. Kobe, please stop it. You're not getting anything up there. Um, so big one, middle one and small one. I'll show you properly on the table. But I just thought they'd be a nice little decoration to have together. And then the final thing is this basket which I got for Kobe's toys because he's got so many toys and they're just all over the kitchen floor and he did have like a really nice little wooden crate with them all in that says Kobe's toys but he's bit so it's literally just like it doesn't look nice anymore thought this would be good to just chuck them all in because he's spoiled rotten um so yeah that was my home sense haul I'm excited to put all my candles out in their positions yeah look how well they go with my dining room table I just think they're so cute. So I might like decorate them somewhere on here or maybe have them on the windowsill. But just thought they were lovely. That's your new toy box. So don't even think about chewing it. Okay? I don't think he's very happy with his new positioning for his toys. Look, son, you're making the kitchen look ugly, all right? So they're going to have to go down there. But that's why he likes to run and hide behind the couch. I don't think he's best pleased. Oh, he's getting Kev the carrot out. Oh, no, he's digging for someone else. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> I don't think so. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, you're so short haired now. Right, apologies for the Hagrid hair. I've had it in a bun and now it's gone all frizzy. Let me show you how quickly it got from Zara. Um, it's not a lot, it's actually three things, otherwise I would have done you a full haul. First thing is the Limitless Contour Leggings. I'm not going to try... Oh, he's all right. Dear me, let me set you up properly. Apologies about that. There we go. First thing is the Limitless Contour Leggings. I talk about these all the time. They're literally my favourite leggings ever. They're like a stretchy rib material. Um, so they're just so comfortable. I've already got a pair of these. Um, but I've had them since like that collection launched. So they're quite like bobbly now. And they've been through the wash a million times. So I thought I'd just get a fresh pair. So I've got a nice pair going in autumn winter. Because they're just nice to pair with like hoodies, coats and stuff. I get them in a size extra small to small. Because they're super stretchy. And they're $17.99. So that was the first thing. Then another thing from the Limitless Contour Collection that I've never seen before was this little nude razor top. So it's the exact same material, super stretchy, um, little crop top. I just like the neckline of that. Um, but it also has adjustable straps, which I absolutely loved. I just thought that was really nice. Um, wait a minute, you can take them out. So what would you do with that? Hmm, you can un... You can undo that, but you wouldn't be able to wear that without a strap. I don't know. Either way, I like that you could adjust them. Love the colour. Again, just a nice base layer. Easy to wear. And then the final thing I picked up is a black blazer. I've wanted this for ages now. Um, and I thought, you know what? That's a really nice first investment piece for autumn winter. I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this. I ordered a size medium and a size small and I tried them both on I've decided to keep the small because I've already got a really oversized leather blazer jacket um to wear as like a dress or over jumpers whereas I wanted one that's a bit more dressy a bit more fitted um granted it's not like super fitted it's still like kind of oversized but just not as big as the medium um and this was 69.99 um but again I know it'll be in my wardrobe I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it over the autumn winter months i'll try this on for you so you can see i mean obviously i'm wearing a hoodie and jogger so it's not quite the vibe um but at this point i really can't be bothered to get changed again today really can't okay so that's the blazer obviously i wouldn't wear it like this um but really nice nice length got the button details um i wouldn't wear this one with a jumper underneath because like i said i want this more on the fitted side i'd wear this with like thinner tops thinner jumpers and i've got my oversized one for on top of stuff like this um but yeah 
love it all right guys that's going to go ahead and end this week's weekly vlog really hope you enjoyed it hope you had a lovely start to september why is the sun coming out after it's been miserable all day um make sure to like comment and subscribe if you did enjoy it and as always i will see you in the next one bye